In my previous video, I make this triple electric generator. So actually, this one was really easy to make because only what I need to make one is some piece of paper, some aluminium and some normal tape on the top. And that this tube electric generator will work for this reason I also need two electrodes. And actually this tube electric generator will harvest the energy by tapping. Just for example, I will connect this one to my multimeter. And you see, with no problem, I get the voltage of 3 to also 4 volts. And so, actually, what is some triple electric generator? The triple electric generator is some energy harvester which transforms almost all forms of mechanical stress to some electricity. Which means that the triple electric generator will harvest the energy from all sorts of vibrations, rubbing, and so on. And we also have many different designs. So, like I said before, this one was really, really easy to make because the materials uh, to make this one uh, is really easy to find in almost any home. Uh, but of course, you have also many different uh, designs, and also you have a lot of materials which you can use to make some triboelectric generator. Uh, and for this reason, it's good that you look into this triple electric series. Because in this triple electric series, you will find the materials with which you can make your triple electric generator. And we also have four fundamental modes in which the triple electric generator will operate. The first fundamental mode will be the vertical contact separation mode. The second will be the contact sliding mode. The third one will be the single electrode mode. And the last one will be the freestanding triboelectric layer mode. And like this one, this one operates in this vertical contact separation mode, which means that uh, the top electrode will go up and down. So only by tapping I get to 4 volts. Then if I want to make some uh, triple electric generator with this contact sliding mode, which means that I will, I mean the top electrode will slide or rubble the bottom electrode. And also with this one I get the voltage of 1 to 2, almost 3 volts. I also can change the electrode. So here I have the electrode which is made from paper, uh, aluminium tape here in the middle and here on the top I have this Kaplan tape. So instead of using normal tape I use the Kaplan tape. Uh, and now I will slide. Seven, eight volts. Also eleven volts. So the voltage will depend on how quick you will rubber the surface. But always remember that this device will produce really good voltage, but the current will be in the microamps range. So for this reason, most of the triple electric generators are mostly used for some self-powering uh, sensors and so on. 
And now I will make some Tribo electric generator which will have a little bit more practical form. Uh, I mean, I will not make some Tribo electric generator which will power my phone, but I will make this uh, Tribo electric generator and I will use it in a little bit more practical way. Because this Tribo electric generator which I will make, I will put into my shoe. And I want to know if I can generate some voltage when I walk. And now to make this tube electric generator, again, I will use two pieces of paper, uh, which I already cut in this size. Then I will need two pieces of aluminum. Uh, so you see that one aluminum is a little bit longer than another. Then I will use this normal tape and also this captain tape but instead of using captain tape you can also use uh, this normal tape for both electrodes and of course i will also need two wires uh, and now at this point make sure that if you use some aluminium tape uh, then make sure that you will bend a little bit of aluminium like so that you will get good contact between the wire and the aluminium because this sticky side uh, will not uh, provide you with good contact so always fold a little bit of aluminium like I do here And now I need to cover the aluminium with some normal tape. So the first electrode is ready, now we'll make the second electrode. And now I will put these two electrodes together, like so, that I will have a little bit of gap between.
and now I will put this generator into my shoe like so I mean I can put this uh, generator like so at the bottom of the entire shoe but I want to hide this generator inside the shoe like so and now is the time for testing Very nice. And just for fun, I will see if this LED will work. So guys, this was about this Tribo electric generator. Uh, for now, that's it, and we we'll see us in the next video. Bye.